In our liturgical calendar, we have heard recently of the birth of Christ. And then, just yesterday, the epiphany, the showing forth of Christ. When the three uh, wise men from the East, who represent all the whole world, came to the child. The meaning of epiphany was that God came for everyone, not just for the first chosen, the Jews were the first chosen, but for the whole world, the Magi, representing all of humanity. Today we hear of the baptism of Jesus, which took place years later, when he was already an adult by the time he was baptized. And John the Baptist was baptizing people in the Jordan River. It was all part of God's plan, calling for people to repent. That was the message of John the Baptist. Repent, repent, turn away from your sins so that God can bring you his full salvation. Well, Jesus came and immediately John recognized Jesus doesn't need to repent. This is a holy man. I shouldn't baptize him. He should baptize me. He sees that. But Jesus says, no, go ahead and baptize me. It's to fulfill all righteousness. What did that mean? Don't forget, Jesus is the Son of God. He's a divine person. But he's, he also came, became human. So Jesus wanted to fulfill all the human righteousness. In other words, all the things, the good things that God was asking of his people through the years, through the Jewish uh, teaching, customs, Jesus wanted to embrace all of that as part of his taking on humanity. Not that he needed to have sins forgiven, but that he wanted to take on the whole human history and tradition. So Jesus did allow himself to be baptized. But the Father used that occasion to uh, point out Jesus in a very special way, to make known the vocation, to make known who this was. And uh, so the dove, come, the dove is a sign of the Holy Spirit, and the voice of the Father says, this, this one, this is my, my son. This is the one. The Father is pointing to him. This is the one. I am well pleased. He's the one you should listen to. He's the one you should follow. Now, Jesus is accredited, if you will, before the world at his baptism. And uh, our other readings, uh, one of the other readings we heard this morning foretold that God was sent, would send the Holy One. And uh, that was a, a prediction from Isaiah. Here is my servant, says Isaiah. He's looking way into the future. Here is my servant, the one whom I'm sending to save the people. And then and from the Acts of the Apostles, Peter, Peter says, now I see that God is calling all people, not just the Jews, not just the first chosen. He's calling all nations. This revelation comes to Peter. Of course, we know it's true. Christ is the Lord of the nations. He comes to save all. One thing that caught my attention this morning was Isaiah tells us that the servant of God would come to open the eyes of the blind to bring out prisoners and those who live in darkness. We might ask ourselves, you and I, what is the darkness from which we need Christ to lead us out? What are the false ideas? What are the fears that arise from false ideas? What is the darkness from which we need Christ to lead us out? He can do that. He wants to do that. We should bring him all of our sinfulness and all of the darkness in our lives. Please stand now. We have the creed.